So guys, we're um, doing a 24 hour fish at Vale Farm. We haven't had a chance to start a video yet because um, as soon as we got here we saw fish were about so we set up the rod straight away and decided to get going with the action. How many are you on now Mark? I think eight. Eight already. I'll have to check. We were here at four o'clock and it's now ten past eight. Mark's already on about and eight. we did spend an hour putting bivvies up and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Set up behind us. Number one. I've just, just had a double take. So this one looks a bit bigger than we thought it did actually. We're on the opposite bank to the, what we're usually on, aren't we? Yeah. A bit of a change. Yes. Um, Let's see what this one weighs. And I've had a couple prior to this. But Mark's got two on the bank now, so he's just weighing the first one. Any opportunity to use that hook? He's I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Six pound eleven. Looks bigger than that. That's all right. That That's the first one. Let's film that safe release. Yeah, thanks. Numero two. I think this one's a better one. Yeah, that one's. So that's the second one of the double take. Literally, I haven't been able to. This one's at the island. It's a scent from hell on a multi rig. Um, I think I've had that's the third fish in about 20 minutes that's taken it. The first two were only sort of pound, pound and a half, two pound maybe. We're getting any sleep. Right. Need some spray. Lovely evening. Quite a good temperature for it actually. It's not baking hot and it's not. Cold by any means. The first was 611. This has got a bit of a belly on that one. This one. £7.13. Bit bigger. Yeah, bigger. Get it bigger. If you ignore the two before this. <laughs> that one released back. Under the bank. Happy days. Yeah. I need beer or a cider now. <laughs> so, happy days. Our little setup. Home for the night. I didn't even tighten the line up, just went it at the bottom. I was on a Ronnie rig. 12 mil coconut pop up. Straight away, good start. Yeah. Back. I reckon I'll give you six. Yeah, that'd be. This is how we roll. Double take. So I just managed to get my fish in. Um, Weirdly, not actually on my rig. I've just pulled this out of its mouth. Um, this is a barbless hook only place, and this it is a very large barbed hook. So, luckily, I managed to save this fish because it had actually jammed its mouth shut. Um, and I'd only caught it because it had a clip on the end which somehow picked my line up. So I'm going to get it back now. Linear. I just caught it in the gill, just caught it in the side of the mouth, a little bit of spray. Bit of carp care. Lovely from linear. <laughs> I thought it was a bit of a <laughs> I just fell over. We know the uh, we know the sling weighs two pounds. It's much easier, isn't it? Eight eleven. 
So it says 10, 11. Yeah. Nice. That's our biggest one so far. So guys, we've had a few on the bank, but um, all relatively low sizes. This one looks like it could be Mark's PB of our farm. Currently I reckon. 14, no, 12 pound nine. Oh, I'm in, I've got to go. <laughs> Just drop it, I thought. Ah! You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's still recording. Yeah. All right, so first proper fish from here. It's a damn good size. Oh. Uh. It's okay, uh, sent from hell, multi-rig, size 10 hook. Oh. Fourteen pound five. Nice. <laughs> Without the net. Oh yeah. I've had some pretty terrible sessions recently. Blanking my butt off. Today is made up for that no end. Uh, what an expression? <laughs> huh? What an expression? Blanking your blanking butt off. Blanking my butt off. I was going to say blanking my ass off, but I'd have to. Beat that out later. Just blanking a lot with the wood of that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you ready? I reckon that looks bigger than what it actually weighs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're at Vale Farm. Uh, we got here at four. Um, it's been absolutely manic. I've never had a session like this. Uh, I'm not complaining. Um, we got here at half four. The swim that we wanted was uh, being used by someone else. So we did a bit of surface fishing. Um, and we had a few off the top there. Um, since we've set up our rods, haven't stopped at all. Um, I think we're coming on to 20 fish now. Um, and all carp actually, which is nice. Um, I've, I've got a fish on. Here's another monster. Um, ugh. rig's only been in, <laughs> rig's only been in enough to eat one spoonful of my pudding. Oh, alright, alright, alright. Still got quite a bit of fight. Uh, this is a scent from hell, again. Um, I'm going to estimate about 11 pound, but let's get it weighed. Damn it, I'd be wrong. 12 pound four. Mm, nice. Um, yeah, so we're, we've had a ridiculously prolific session so far. Um, we had to pull the rods out to, to get things done, basically. Um, We've had a couple of good ones. I've had a 12 and I've actually had a 14, 6. Um, we're here for the night. We'll leave it for tomorrow. Let's see, uh, let's see how many we can catch, really, I guess. And I'm on again. I just had a screaming take. It's wicked fish. I'll show you. Really, really long mirror. Gonna get it away, but I think it's a double. Well, I just had another wicked take. Uh, Ten pound thirteen torpedo, hardest fighting fish we've had so far. Um, <laughs> as I was fighting it, put the net in the water, and the net just came away from the handle. Uh, so Nathan did the last half while I uh, laid on my belly and, and managed to find the net in the water. Um, really long fish, the top end, front end really didn't match the back end, really big at the front and quite small at the back but really fought hard. Uh, I currently don't have any rods in the water just so I can uh, sort some stuff out. Um, 
Nathan's just changing his bait. Uh, but hopefully, I, I think we're in. We must be in the 20s by now for fish, I don't know. But yeah. Um, to be honest, a lot of them I'm not weighing or taking pictures of. Because once you've seen one six pound common and you've caught about 15 of them, they all look the same. So, <sighs> onward and upward. It does okay. take. First one was a 10 pounder. This one I'm yet to weigh, but it's much bigger. Um, I thought I was going to lose the rod out of my hand. Absolutely flew off. I'm going to put her down because she's going to jump. Fourteen pound on the dot. Oh, nice. Nice. Get her back. She's definitely ready. Yeah. Oh. oh. Not particularly dignified. Come on, darling, either way. She doesn't want to go. Um, so I'm going to leave some rods out for a minute. <laughs> I had to a little run on mine. Uh, literally just put them out. It's been pretty mental to be honest. No rest for the wicked. See how the rest of the evening goes. Uh, so I still have an absolutely mad session. Um, Nathan and unfortunately just had a good one come off. Uh, I've just managed to land a 14, a 12, a 10, a 7, I think. Um, I'm, I'm basically, I'm bringing them in quicker than I can actually log them. Um, so, good times. I think we've just had a count. We think we've hit 30 fish now between us. Um, I don't know about how many average weight or anything like that. We'll have to work that out another time. Uh, but it's just hit midnight, so let's see what the night brings. It's about two in the morning. Uh, I just had a run on both rods actually. Nathan had a run on his as well and landed a probably an eight or nine, maybe even a ten pound common. The left hand rod's doing well for me actually, it's picked up some big fish. I've changed the boilie to a twenty mil, which is massive. But the two fourteens and the twelve actually that I pulled in had humongous mouths and they no problem taking a 20 mil in so fingers crossed for a bigger one well, that's just coming up to half past two um, Nathan's just had a fish don't know the size um, and I've just had one about five or six pounds It doesn't look like the 20 mil boilie only would get a big fish kind of works. Um, just had a five pounder on the 20 mil boilie. So, put another one out just to see. It's, uh, it's about three o'clock now. Uh, I'll get some clips. It's the morning of the night before. I I ended up bringing my rods in at four o'clock. Um, I was just getting frustrated that five pounders would still take a twenty mil boilie. Uh, I've already had two this morning. Nathan's had a couple of runs. Um, 
got woken up at half six. The lake is already full. Can't believe it. But how are you feeling? I think my hair kind of says it all. <laughs> Shattered. I know you have more sleep than what Mark did. Last time I looked at the time, it was like two o'clock. So that was the last sort of time that that I know of. I was catching fish. Apparently, I had a few runs through the night. But uh, Mark tried to wake me up, but I wasn't waking up. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, just brew time and then set up for the day. I'd imagine it's going to be quite productive because it's really warm. Usually, when it's warm here, fish come like one after the other. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Our rods have gone a bit quiet. Um, Jed next to us has had a few, he's had an 11 pounder earlier. Um, so we're taking the opportunity to cook up. To cook up. We've got the sausages, bacon, black pudding, uh, we've got some eggs, rolls, tomatoes. Oh, we're missing is hash browns and mushrooms actually. Yeah. But you know, only got two rods. So Nathan decided to go on top after seeing a few. Rig was in the water, what, five minutes? Yeah. Got ahead of the change. Got ahead of the, of the game. Yeah. Saw there was a few. Still quite lovely. It's just got some weight to it. Alright, no, that way then. Yeah, it's good weight to it, actually. It's double easy. Nice catch. So, eleven pound four. And yeah, there she goes. More eleven pound four there. Still got some activity there with some surface baits. <laughs> See you in uh, two point five seconds for the next fish. <laughs> it's literally non-stop. I've just landed one that was about eight pound, nice looking fish. I lost an absolute train before that. Um, and Nathan's now on. You can see all around the lake, loads of people catching. Very busy here today. Nathan's on. Absolute clonker. Absolute clonker. Here anyway. Oh yeah. Ow! Are <laughs> <laughs> you going to weigh that one? Uh, no, I might do that. As you can hear, they're still feeding. You're gonna want the uh, staff of destiny anyway. <laughs> All good fish are weighed on the staff of destiny, which does actually look like a. Uh... Yeah, it's a good fish. All the big ones we've had so far, I think, have been mirrors. Yeah. Unless I'm wrong. Yeah. 
of him is in the it's got it's coming. Oh. 1312. So that's 1512. No, it's 1512. Oh, it's 11 pound 12. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, it's bigger than that. That's definitely bigger than that. Right, let's weigh this down to me. Let's zoom out. That's going to really ruin my data if. Uh... Yeah, two. <laughs> See? Alright, well. Get back to the action. Nathan was targeting some big fish, oh and uh, oh. he's got an absolute monster. Oh, yeah, boy. Lovely. In the mirror. Oh. You always know when it's a good fish for Nathan because he wants to weigh it. That's worth weighing. That's a good fish. Anticipation is killing us. What do you reckon? I think it's 14. 17.5 on here. So it's 15 pound five? 15 five. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Decent fish. That's good fish. Really long. There was two, I think there was one slightly small one originally going for it and then this this one popped up from nowhere and just thought, nah I'm having that. Nice. <laughs> and luckily he did. Uh, gets this rod back out. No idea what the time is. I don't know either. Right, it's, we've got a ridiculous amount of numbers now. I think we've definitely hit 50 now. Well, well over 50 I reckon. Maybe into the 60s, 70s. Yeah. The Mark Top got a decent oh, mark on the main. screamer. So that looks absolute screamer for Mark. So remember the scales weigh uh, ten pound. So let's see. Uh... <laughs> just because you were just talking about you go for quantity, quality, and I go quantity. <laughs> I reckon it's, not, it's about the nearly the same size. How big was yours? Seventeen five. Well, fifteen five. Can I go seventeen five? Yes, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> that looks bigger than 15. I reckon those scales are maxed out at 17.5. <laughs> we both know we've had cats on there up to 50, so. <laughs> Alright. Oh. And for your next trick. <laughs> for my next trick. 16 pounder. <laughs> nice. Oh. See if we can get another bigger one. See if yeah. we can get one of the bigger ones. So it goes. It's still non stop on the surface. I've got a couple of good ones. I've just landed this. I think it's about nine, eight or nine. Yeah, chuffed. Last fish I had, uh, I changed it up. I put a bit of sherbet, caught a goo on, got an instant take, and then just to prove a point, done it again. Less than a minute, the bait was in the water. Nice. So, I'm in. Rod's going. The guy next to me is also in. 
get these bad boys in. The aftermath of the double take. I got a lovely mirror. And ignoring Nathan's underwear. Got a lovely con. Are they about the same size? His is probably bigger. Past one now. Um, still haven't stopped catching. Nathan's just pulled out, pulled in a great one from, uh, from the surface. Nine pound common, but he actually managed to catch it twice because it came out the net. Um, we're on, I think, 71. We've had 71 carp now. Um, just get going. I show you my rig. So we're on the surface. So I've got a uh, Scorda surface controller, small one, and I'm going down to um, actually a hair rig. I find hair rigs are a bit better um, for surface baits. And this is a <clears throat> this is a tuna 20 mil pop up boily. I trimmed down. And if I hold it up against the dog biscuit, pretty much the same. The fish are falling for it. Um, we found putting a bit of cord of goo on it makes all the difference. Well guys, it's time for me to pack up, but this will be my last fish. Took Nash Instant Action Pineapple on the drop. Twice, actually. Um, Nathan's still trying for a couple, but yeah, pleased with today. Oh, it's all packed up. Um, it's been a mental, no, I don't know mental session. I um, reckon we have somewhere between seventy and eighty carp. Yeah, it's probably eighty plus. I reckon. Yeah. In the end, one roach. I didn't get that. That oh, was me. No uh, bream. No bream. That's a bonus. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the bank very soon. Tight lines. lines.